everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first ever video. I hope you like it. I hope you find something that resonates with you. I basically want my channel to be somewhere that you can come to and relate and maybe pick up a little tool along the way here and there to help you navigate your way through with whatever it is that you're going through. Times are hard at the moment and we all put so much pressure on ourselves to be good at everything all of the time. And the truth is that's never going to happen. And I think the more we realize that life's good and life's bad, I think things can get a little bit easier. And I also want this to be a little bit about my lifestyle. I live in the Rocky Mountains in Canada and it's a beautiful place. So I would like to show a little bit about like where I live and the lifestyle that I live. The first thing I would like to share is journaling. It's been proven scientifically that journaling decreases mental stress and increases well-being. It's great for mental health, like a big brain dump. <laughs> you just get it all out on paper and don't edit it. Don't worry about spelling. Just get it all out. It's going to look like a uh, chicken scratch, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, you might not even go back and read it. It almost, things just start to come clear as you're writing. It's almost like you have this different perspective of the situation. It makes way for your intuition to come through where you just say every single thing that you're thinking at the time. It's a judgment-free zone because generally once we mind dump and get it out of the way, uh, you don't really feel that way anymore. While you're there with your journal, every single day it's important to look at the things that you are grateful for because what that does is, like I said in the beginning, life's good and life's bad, but sometimes we can just focus on the bad and it's, you know, it can be a, an accumulation of all these little things that happen and you're focusing on, you know, that didn't work, that didn't work. You start to build up momentum going down that road of life's hard. And I'm not saying life isn't hard. I'm just saying life's hard, but life's also great. And sometimes we forget to build up momentum down that road of things that are actually really good as well. And Gratitude journaling, it shines the light on that. It makes you reach for what's good. Um, it can be little things like, oh, I had the best sleep last night. I have dinner with my best friend tonight. Um, the sun is shining because, oh my God, the sun to me makes such a huge difference on my mood. And I only really realized that since moving to Canada, how much the sun affects my mood. Yeah. Little things to be grateful for, write them down, post it on your story on Instagram. Um, I just find doing it on Instagram, it kind of holds you accountable a little bit more. And as well, it could make someone's day better to know that you're feeling grateful and make them reach for what they're grateful for in their life. So the next thing I would like to share is uh, another tool that I use every day. This is a non-negotiable for me and it's meditation. What happens when we meditate is the the activity in the parietal lobe, which is this guy, this part of the brain up here, which is where most of our senses are processed, it slows the activity down. So you're getting a break from thinking. Life gets busy. This thing gets moving on its own sometimes. And meditation just slows everything down. And the purpose is not to stop thinking because you're always going to be thinking, but it's kind of to separate yourself from thinking and just step back a little bit and just notice your thoughts. Like they're still going to be happening, but you're not engaging in those thoughts. You're just noticing them and letting them flow by. I like to say it's like they're like clouds in the sky. Let them float by. Don't grab onto them. I schedule it in like an appointment. I can move it around. I can either do it in the morning or in the evening. Um, sometimes I just go to bed an hour earlier and do like an hour meditation. And that sets me up for a really nice sleep. The nervous system that settles down a lot. It's really good for insomnia. 
meditation is a, is a practice. And that's why they call it a practice because you show up and you practice. And some days are going to be better than others. I know Joe Dispenza says there's no such thing as a bad meditation. And that is so true because sometimes you'll be meditating and you know, something comes up and you feel frustrated and angry and, but that's good because this is, these are feelings that are, are there to come up, to feel. And it's like any feeling that you're feeling throughout your day, just surrender to it and let it be there. Notice it, let it come up. It's there to come up. I know I got into a habit of just meditating when I felt angry or I'm so sad or I'm so feeling really depressed or anxious today. Um, I need to go meditate. If you're doing it every single day, whether you feel good or whether you feel bad, something amazing happens. You start to feel these amazing feelings. You can have mystical experiences. Um, so yeah, it's not just a tool to bring you back from feeling whatever emotion that you're feeling. You know, it's a daily practice. One minute, five minutes, 11 minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever you have time for, make time for meditation. So the third thing I would like to share with you is move your body. I do this most days. I mean, I work out five to six days a week and that's because I just love it so much now. I mean, I never used to have a great relationship with fitness. When I really start to ex started to accept myself, just the way that I am and not have these insane goals and put this insane pressure on myself to look a certain way and, you know, lose weight. And, you know, we all have our, our things that, you know, make us feel not good enough inside of us. And it was when I really explored that and, and realized that from a very young age, I developed this belief that if I put weight on, I'm not good enough and I'm not going to be loved. And it was when I really did some work on myself that me and fitness, well, like this now, fitness gets endorphins moving, like serotonin, dopamine, noradrenaline, and adrenaline, um, all the good things that we love to feel. And you have access to that every single day. When you're sitting and you're feeling a little bit sad, get up and move your body. I guarantee you, you will feel so much better. Um, a huge tip on this one is find something that you really enjoy doing. Yoga, Pilates, walking, running, um, hypertrophy, plyometrics, everything. For me, I really, really love um, weight training, cardio and HIIT. The thing I rely on now is discipline and habits. I've created these habits and these appointments that are really non-negotiable for me. And, you know, every day I wake up, have my journaling, I have my time with my tea or coffee. And at 9.30, that's when I work out. And in saying that, there is going to be days where I feel like I need a rest. And I'm not saying that I will push through that. I will ask myself how I'm feeling. There's a little bit of difference between pushing yourself to feel better and pushing yourself beyond exhaustion. Take your rest days. They are just as important as any goal that you have. For me now, the goal is to feel good. And when the goal is to feel good and you have these little tools that are at your fingertips, life just becomes a little bit more pleasant. I want to speak a little bit about motivation as well. Motivation is not to be relied on. I'm not motivated. That must mean, you know, I'm not good at working out. I'm, I'm doing something wrong. Motivation comes and goes. Sometimes it will be there, but more often than not, it will not be there. And this is when we rely on habits and discipline and the goals, which is to feel good. And, you know, some days you might only feel like you want to go for a 20 minute walk or a 15 minute run or a 15 minute hit sesh. Like, I did 30 minutes hit this morning and it set my day up for me to feel good because I know I've done that. It's got my endorphins moving. And so yeah, motivation, don't rely on it. It's not a nice one. They're my three tools. These are my absolute favorite things. 
um, that I do every day, most days. If you're still watching, that means that you like this video and that's pretty cool. If you did like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Thanks, bye.